this matchup, fellas. So I'm going to jump in the lobby and make sure that everything is working the way that it should be. And it's not. Whoops, I forgot something. My bad. We got to make sure to actually capture the display. That matters. But bam, we did it. Turn that off for a while. And bam. All right, cool. Let me get out of the way and let the homie start. So I believe that Itachi's legacy will be on the player one side. Allow me to flip that for you guys. And player two is going to be Chris Fascinating Who. My name is Spooky, and you guys are watching Next Level Battle Circuit Online Edition. This is week six. Count them, six weeks. We've got Street Fighter action, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, of course, Dragon Ball right. Fighters. Thanks for all the support, everybody. Uh, Subs-wise, we're now at... Damn, we even got a special emo for that. Subs wise, we're now at 1099. All right, guys, let's let's get it back up. We're gonna get back over 100, 1100 tonight, that's for sure. Can we make it back to 1200? That that'll be that'll be the challenge. All right, I have no idea what's about to happen in this first match. I'm pretty hyped. Emails are being delivered to support as well. Congratulations, everybody! That got a cool emo. The number of the freelancer, true that? That 1099 form. Pay your taxes or else we're coming for you. All right. So Itachi's Legacy is playing Hizabuki. And we got Chris who playing Seth. Hell yeah. All right. New characters. He's not even that new anymore, but I still get excited because I love seeing these new characters evolve and what people do with them. Uh, yeah, I think that most guys, uh, to uh, to Round Joker one. and to everybody else in the chat, I think most guys would rather be at an offline tournament for this type of thing, for the most part. In fact, some guys really hate online. They hate the lag, and they hate all the limitations based on online. Uh, but still, that being said, you know, this is what we got, so I'm glad that people are supporting it so much. And uh, speaking of support, Chris Hu is standing tall. Quest under? Nope, stayed in front. Damn, he's really good with those axe kick hits. Damn, he tried to check that. And instead, Itachi's legacy has the combo. Still has plenty of kunai to pressure with. Again, another great axe kick. He's kind of been using that and the neutral jump. That's Chris Who. He's been using those to establish like his way of getting in. So far, Itachi's legacy is getting the better of it. That was nice. Good target. Go way to check that jump. I'm not even sure if he wanted that. He might have wanted another axe kick. Okay. Yeah, we live in the future. I wish. Whoa, what a trade. Trade down the target. Actually, Chris got the best of that. Itachi's legacy is kind of just trying to find his spot and find a way to get out of this corner. He does. Okay, that was good. Straight to V-Trigger. Combo time. Extension. Get off me. Chris refused to guess. I like this set in general. This set looks cool. Just it's like what the hell what the hell is he? what the hell is she? Who knows? I can't even tell if it's the guy set or the girl set. Ooh, that was a goal. That was perfect. Finally he's starting to you can tell he's starting to feel that timing for when the axe is gonna land at a perfect angle or hit. Land me out. Laugh my ass off. What calm? Thank you. Oh yeah, when you when you say it that way, Arepa, it makes more more sense. Arepa de huevo, that sounds really delicious right now. Anyway, if you think of it more like an android, it makes way more sense. Oh man, he thought a throw was coming, and Itachi's legacy took full advantage. Now he has some good pressure, set up, dropped, and Chris who gets away. Still a pretty big lead for Itachi's legacy now. Chris has so much meter. Okay, there we go. I was going to say. Ouch, again. Back to mid-screen. And Itachi's legacy is looking great right now. He has a pretty good lead. He's got a V-trigger. Whenever he starts pressure again, he's definitely going to go for it. Now we'll see how Chris can pressure here. Plus frames. Plus again. Oh, too far for the combo. But he got the cross up. Chris who? Into super very nice comeback. All right. Chris who NYC. He's fascinating, guys. Were you amazed? 
<laughs> follow him at Chris Who Rocks. I love the name of the Twitter Set account, Chris Who Rocks. <laughs> That's so good. All right, 1-0 for Chris. Uh, but that was pretty close. Thank you, Caffeine Crash, with the 36 Aeons. 36 Aeons. You may have the bronze coin, my friend. That's a lot of Aeons. Choo-choo. <laughs> Round Thank one. You. That's not three years, that's three universes. 36 universes, I don't know anymore. Aeons were conquered, thank you. Damn, that bronze coin looks sick. All right. Chris's ice kicks have been really godlike, and they, they're getting better as the set progresses. Itachi's legacy, mm, he almost had something there. Now Chris has to be feeling really comfortable because that V-Trigger could have been much worse. Overhead. Got the combo. Very good. Itachi's legacy chasing down, but the V reversal calms him down. No, says Chris. Stop. Okay, V reversal. I don't think he's going to get another trigger in this round. That was a great Demon's Cradle. What the hell is the name of Dimitri's dive kick, guys? So one of you vampire savior monsters has, you know, Demon's Cradle is the uppercut. What is the, the dive kick move that he has? I'm sure that it also has some demon name or something like that. Okay. A lot of neutral from both guys right now, but the axe kicks again from Chris. <laughs> no Claw says it's just called dive kick. He just wraps his cape around himself and he dives. It actually looks cool. Okay. I'm not even talking about the axe kick because the axe kick that's the the uh that's the Makoto axe kick, right? He also has a dive kick after the demon's cradle. Activation time. That being plus is so weird. It takes a bit to get used to and a nice follow, Chris Who? Alright. What's up, Liston? Welcome, man. You should be a mod, Set. by the way. Listen, let's fix that for you right now, my friend. That was 2-0. Yes. 2-0 in favor of Chris. Fascinating who. Good job, Chris. Well played, my friend. And uh, yeah, that was that was clean self play, especially with the axe kicks. His axe kicks uh, were really good, and it's a good way to establish his neutral. All right, guys. So we're going to be setting up for the next match momentarily. Please stick around if you guys would like to, to see it. Uh, in the meantime... Uh, thanks. Oh, wow. You guys are the best. Seriously. Thank you for all the match you know, contributions already. We reached $180. Are you serious, guys? $180. Thank you, Flag Chan, for giving $100 by yourself. Thank you, Flag Chan. Thank you, Oscurai, for hooking up that gift sub in the chat just now for the homie listing. Thank you, Oscurai. You giving away 76 gift subs? That's crazy talk, bro. That's, that's so generous. Thank you. Blinded Justice, by the way, gave $37 and change to the match. You know, he says, this one's for you, Morph. Cheesyologist, who also hooked it up. He says, shout out to all the Massachusetts competitors. And we also have Mena Fu from fake Massachusetts, I guess, apparently. <laughs> well, welcome. Welcome, everybody. Thank you, Cheesyologist. Thank you, Askurai, for the $5.50. And also gave away a gift sub. Thank you, Askurai. And Antenna Clubs with the 241. Still holding down in spot number five. Thank you, Antenna Clubs. Thanks for always supporting, guys. Uh, once again, you can also check out that promo code save NOBC20. And it looks like we're gonna we're gonna you, you, between pizza and chicken. I mean, I guess I'm gonna say pizza. I don't know. Pick pizza, butter biscuits. All right, we're setting up for the next match right now, guys. Please stick around if you'd like to see it. It should be another good one. We have Zaffarino and a Zaffarino's opponent. It's going to be uh, Patrick Piacenla. Anyway, let's get it going, everyone. Thanks, of course, for all your support. If you guys are enjoying the stream, please, I implore you to consider subscribing to us here at Team Spooky. We love all you guys. We love all our subs. Thanks, everybody. Yep. Uh, no, I don't want to leave the lobby. What's that, bro? Oh, he's also streaming. Okay, cool. So make sure to follow the homie Zav. Apparently, he's also streaming himself on Twitch right now. So if you want to see from his standpoint, you want to see what's going on. Make sure to check them out. Yeah, I, I'm trying to. Did I mess up? Did it just take forever? That was weird. No, what are you doing, game? No. It's like stuck. <laughs> oh, there we go. It just took forever. That was so weird. <laughs> I was, now, now I'm getting paranoid. This is what Street Fighter does to me, guys. Let's do this. 
Patrick PSN La. And he's the team is is that actually the team not applicable? N slash A? Well, I'm gonna write it because that's what he put there. That almost makes me think that it's supposed to be non applicable, but whatever. Zafarino versus Patrick. Patrick PSN La. What's up, React Man? What's up, Tally? What's up, everybody else? All right, so Zaf player one and Patrick PSN is player two. I imagine that Zafarino probably knows this matchup uh, at least at least to some extent because he has had the opportunity to play Sanford Kelly a lot at next level. And Sanford actually has a pretty beast Deku. Uh, as far as Patrick knowing the matchup against Sagat, I guess we'll find out. Okay, nice heavies into the cancel. Confirms all day. Patrick definitely is going for the meaty stuffs. Get off me. You get in the corner. Plus. Wow. That was a godlike shimmy. The, the shimmy was so godlike that I didn't even you couldn't even barely see him throw it. That was crazy. Activation. Alright. He still got the trigger to cancel for when he needs it. Oh, didn't even need it. Patrick. Alright, very nice first round. Uh, Mr. Archer, Grand Blue Fancy Versus is on Saturday, my friend. So please tune in on that day if you'd like to see it. Crush. Oh, man. That's so cool how you can slide and crush and have it not be a knockdown. Usually with slides, that's not really how it works. But you need to him with the max range slide. Actually, does not knock down. Keeping that pressure on. He tried to break the throw, but instead, goodbye the rest of your health bar. And that's sad. Boy, did you see the slow-mo knee to the chest? Were we playing Tekken just now? Was that fucking All right. <laughs> Round number three. Tiger. Tiger. I timed him perfect. I don't care about your slash kick. Tiger. I'll keep tossing. No. You got gram kicks. I got tiger power. Oh, whoa. you saw that range on the gram kick? Yo, forget I said anything. That was actually crazy. Yo, it went like half screen. Oh, even. Damn, he went for all the damage. He cashed out immediately. Actually, so with Sagat, there's only so many good places to cash out in the critical art, so I'm not surprised that he picked that spot. And that was like 45%. Really damaging combo. Huge lead. Time to get through my wall of tiger shots. Who's played Final Fantasy 2 on Super Nintendo, guys? You know the evil wall? That was Zafarino just now. He was the evil wall. You couldn't get through it. Sagat wins. 1-0, right, Zap. What's up, Nightmare? Welcome back, my friend. What's up, Cavern Cat, React Man, Bandit Keep, Vento Lin, Tenna Clubs, Tally, so many skulls, guys. I see all of y'all. Thanks for all the support, everybody. Skulls and coins all over the place. Brian F, he even got the skull. <laughs> As he's here checking out the bracket. Okay, 1-0 for Zaf. Zaf going for the early chunks. He's brave. A rushdown didn't enter? Well, that's okay. We can always just watch Rob TV 5 1 him again. I'm sorry, rushdown. Don't hate me. I'm only playing. Jab, jab. Knees. That's an anti air. All day. Wow, the follow up damage is pretty good. That V trigger is so weird. It kind of makes me think of the, the Falk V trigger too, a little bit. Upper. Zaf again with a lead. Not a huge lead like he's had in some previous rounds. Patrick actually can come back here. Oh, not like that. Damn, he saw a jump. And his reaction was to try to anti-air, but it was not the right time to go for the uppercut. It's not even uppercut. Kicker cup? Kicker cut? I don't know. The uppercut's with his feet, guys. That's the best way I can describe that. The foot lead? Okay, I like that. It's a, he, he went for the, the foot lead. Unfortunately, it whiffed, and Zafarino won that round. Ouch. Tried to get a follow up. Even. Oh, the the footsies. Bro, he punched a real back on the, on his hand, and that's a stun. Show me your jumping combo. Ah, ah. Damn, that was actually a kind of dope jumping combo. Zafarino. All right, you got it, my friend. 
And unfortunately, Patrick, I'm sorry, my friend, but you'll be trying your luck in the loser's bracket tonight. And a good luck to you down there because it's it's swimming with many a shark. Hopefully a, a, a random Capcom Cup champ doesn't end up down there. Is Do here as SNK isn't, isn't dead. Yes, SNK isn't dead. Not only is Do here, uh, but we have many, 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 many great players, including uh, Mena RD, also a Capcom Cup champ. Idom, another champ. The champs are everywhere. It's raining champs. Guys, please support us tonight if you can on the Match Arena crowdfund. By the way, everyone, we could always use your help. Quick little 895 while we set up for this next match. But again, we could use your support, everybody. There's also another special offer. You can see it here uh, involving our friends at Sonic. And if you text Gamer1 to 876642, you'll add $1 to the prize pool. One half for Henry Sen and one half, of course, for the players of Top 3 tonight. And you'll also receive great offers from our friends at Sonic. And, of course, there are some disclaimers here with this one, so I will show them to you before we begin. Uh, but here's more of the information, of course. And uh, every little bit that you guys contribute counts, guys. We do appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, FGC Hitman, for the host. I appreciate you, my friend. And thanks, everybody, for checking out the match arena. We do appreciate all the donations. Uh... Okay, El Chakote versus Mike Parmesan coming up next, guys. We're setting up for that right now. Let me just get out of the way, get out of the way of the players so they can start it up. And we're going to go. Hope you guys are ready, because I'm definitely ready. So El Chakote, player one. I know I haven't seen him for a while because he's not even saved in, in my little app that saves everybody's name. That's how I know I haven't seen him in a while. This is still round one, okay. This is a huge round one. Round two? No, it's round one, it's round one. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Smash EG, for making that part of my life easier, at least. Mike Parmesan. Damn, I really want some, some pizza right now. I'm so ready. Round one of the winner's bracket continues, guys. Thanks for all the support on the Match Arena crowdfund, everybody. We've received so much money already from you guys. Uh, and again, every little bit that you give counts. Uh, top donors tonight still include Flag Chan with the $100. Thank you, Flag Chan. Uh, thank you, Blinded Justice, for giving $37.50. Cheesyologist, who gave $25.50. Oscar Rock, who gave $5 and change. And 10 of clubs with a $241. To be honest, I gained a little bit of weight. I'm back at like $140. I could use... I could use some weight loss, but it's okay. We're not crying yet. El Chakote, player one side. Player two is Mike Parmesan. Let me take that little extra part of his tag out, and let's do this. All right. Well, two steps. How about that, guy? Two steps in three matches. How often does that happen? Bro, that, this set looks like a KOF character. Look at the haircut. Doesn't she look like Angel or something? Oh, my goodness. She's getting grabbed. Android, please. Please stop getting grabbed. Haha, <laughs> Chakotay wants to be grabby right now. By the way, Chakotay is ranked 23. That's actually crazy. How much have you been playing, Chakotay? My goodness, my guy. You've been playing a lot, huh? Bro. Oh. He knows when you're scared. He's Warlord rank. That's not a joke. Holy shit. Chakotay. The High Low Kid. Thank you for your subscription, my friend. Appreciate the two Aeons. And he went for another grab. Good jab check there by Mike Parmesan. I'm trying to stop it from happening, but he's still in the corner early on. Crush. That might... Oh, he was looking for a stun. He didn't get it. And again, Mike Parmesan. Oh, that's probably tough. He could just do EX command grab. Mika win. All right. Well, that was, that was pretty commanding, Chakotay. You didn't even let the other guy play. We'll see what happens in game two. He's getting graded like Parmesan for real. Well, that's that's probably that probably doesn't feel good if you're a Parmesan cheese. You don't want to get graded. Please get out of the grader, Mike Parmesan. Show me what you got. <laughs> Homie said typical, typical Mika match. Oh man, butts in the face. Not even not even androids can handle it. Oh my God, more butts to the face. Would you be okay after those cheeks just hitting you, like flat in the face twice in a row like that, or would you be like, dog, I need a minute? Plus, he didn't try to uppercut anything, I promise you. 
I respect the stable defense, but that makes it a little easier to get command grab by the Hulk. Oh my goodness, Lynx. <laughs> Chakotay. Round two, fight. You say that now. Oh, what a whiff punish. Damn, Chakotay, let him play. Bro, don't you understand? Like, it's supposed to be a two-player game. You can't just whip punish everything. Then they feel really stupid. Oh my god, another whip punish. And Mike Parmesan's just trying to use those longer range pokes to confirm to something to allow another escape. It's getting tough out this on these streets. On these training mode streets. Mike Parmesan, so much meter, bro. Please use some of that bar. There you go. Alright. Whoa, they both whipped? That was crazy. And finally, Mike Parmesan with the crouch MK. Spending some of that trigger. That was great damage. Okay, my. Oh, no. You might be dead. One, two, three. Follow up. Ouch. That was actually the perfect combo to do there. Good job, Chakotay. Well, at least at least Mike Parmesan got to show us one of his dope self combos in V-Trigger. That was cool. Unfortunately, he didn't, he didn't get to do much else beyond that. Thank you, the Sky Force. Oh, thank you, the Sky Force, for the 19 Aeons, my friend. Thank you so much. And yeah, good try, Mike Parmesan. Good luck in the loser side, uh, where you'll meet many other players, because holy it's shit, it's a go. huge bracket tonight. What else, fellas? And while we wait to set up the next match, I want to tell you thanks to our friends at Adorama Camera. Thank you, Adorama. We appreciate you guys, fellas. Make sure to check them out at, here on Twitch at Adorama XP, everybody. Got two, got two. Do appreciate all of their support, of course. Give them a follow, check them out. You can also find yeah. them at Adorama.com. These guys yeah. are your source for cameras, lighting, tripods, and all the goodies you need to put on beautiful production, of course. All the sharks and loosest bracket? Yeah, the loosest bracket is, is, is like an actual minefield right now. Nightmare. It's actually kind of crazy how tough this loosest bracket is. We're going to be saying up for the next match momentarily, everyone. I hope that you're enjoying all the great matches so far. I guess while we'll wait, we'll do a quick little 895, and we're going to set up for the next one right now. Or not. I guess it's been too short of a time since we did 895, so we can't do one. Whoopsie. Boom, boom. Match arena crowdfund. Let's see where we're at now, fellas. You guys have really been really killing it with this one. $209. Damn, just like that. You just got a monitor from Adorama? Hell yeah, extra folks. I love them. They're the shit. Looks like we got Rob TV stepping up to the plate. Thank you, Fighter in the Street. You know, I always wanted that game, Fighting Street, for TurboGrafx-16, just because I wanted to see what it was like. I never had it, though. I just wanted it really bad. Thanks, guys, for the 209, by the way, once again, in the match arena. Do appreciate everybody. We're going to set up for this next match right now. We got Rob TV already here in the lobby. And a Rob's opponent is, let's see, it's, oh, uh, no, I, that's that's coming soon. Never mind. I thought it was Rob TV versus Duel Kevin for a second. I was about to say, holy shit, but no. That comes not at this part of the tournament. Uh, we also got Hitman. So it's Rob TV versus Hitman, 1L2P Hitman. This is winner's round two. It took us some matches to even make it to round two. And that's how serious it was. Danny Glanz. Thank you, Danny Glanz, for your 25 Aeons, my friend. I do appreciate your support. And if you guys are enjoying the tournament tonight and you want to support Team Spooky, the best way to do it, of course. Oh, uh, yes, you can, Mr. Archer. Go ahead, bro. Uh, anyway, Danny Glanz and everybody else, if you want to support us here at Team Spooky, the best way to do it, of course, is to check out those spooky links. Spooky. Use that Amazon Prime, fella. Support us. We appreciate all the support. Thank you, guys. What am I gonna do? The full Ninja Gaiden NES playthrough? Never. Nightmare. I probably would do like 20 games before I get to that game. <laughs> but hey, why not? Oh yeah, Rob TV versus uh, <laughs> Rob TV versus Rushdown. Yeah, I'm Ultra Silver now. It's a great. I'm a scrub. I'm sorry. I'm trash. It's okay, because these guys are good. So let's watch the good players. We're just waiting for Rob TV's opponent, Mr. Hitman. He's actually been at a few of these already. So he knows the drill already. Just waiting for him to get set up so that we can continue on. 
Once we do that, we're going to have more and more great matches. Subs wise, this is what I forgot to check. How many subs are we at now? 11.01. Oh, we can, we can get back to 1200, guys. We can do it. It seems insurmountable, but we've done it before. What's up, Rob TV? Good luck tonight, my friend. There's a lot of killers. So bracket wise, let's take a look at where we are while we wait. That way we can figure out what the path of the tournament might be. So if we are watching this match, it's Rob TV versus Hitman. Uh, the winner of this will face the winner of Mena RD and No Good Citizen. Uh, props to, N to No Good Citizen, by the way, he went 2 0 in his first bar match. And then he drew a Capcom Cup champ. Good luck with that, my friend. Play your best. <laughs> what can I tell you? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so the winner of this, uh, Rob TV or Hitman, the winner of this has a good chance of having to face off against Mena, unless No Good Citizen plays a real godlike match tonight with his G. Uh, and the winner of that has a very good chance of facing Knuckle Dude. This was the hardest part of the bracket right here. This part of the bracket was pretty stacked. Yeah, Nightmare, this is not a joke, bro. It's a tough tournament. We also have Brian Neff versus Neo Cable going on right now. Uh, Zaf has to fight Les Cinders Burn. Uh, Tanachi has to fight Yawn. The winner of that fight is Joey. All right, Joey, having another good night tonight. I see you. Idom. Oh, Idom defeated Chris Sue. Okay, I see. So hopefully we get to see more of Chris in the loser's side because I would love to see more of what he can do. Damn, this tournament is tough. <laughs> Chris Chris won his first match convincingly. That was a convincing 2-0 and then I dom. I don't even know if he got grabbed or if he got whipped. One of those two things happened though. We're just waiting for the homie Hitman. Where you at, Hitman? We're ready for this match, my god. Ready to keep it going. As far as top eight goes, assuming it's Knuckle Dude versus Mena here, right? And only one of them goes to top eight. The loser of this match, AU, where are they gonna end up? They're gonna end up here. So there's gonna be probably a, 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 a or very possibly a Calcon Cup champ here at this part of the bracket, which means uh, who's who's being threatened right now? Okay, we'll see what happens when the bracket develops further, I guess. Yeah, ye old Greg, unfortunately, uh, you know, the, the quarantine hit pretty hard, especially here in New York. New York uh, is one of the, the most hard hit regions, actually, for the virus. And it's pretty crazy because even today we went to the supermarket, right? And, you know, we had our mask and all that. And they, they tried to have rules like, hey, try to stay six feet away and don't get too close to the registers and all this stuff. But there were just so many people shopping for food that it was like it was actually physically impossible to keep up with the rules. You couldn't get through the aisles if you didn't get close to people and stuff, right? So, like... Tough place to live, what can I tell you? Oh yeah, dude, I think this is sick. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next match, it sounds like, guys. Sorry, everybody, we were trying to set up this one match. I'm sorry, Rob, but uh, it seems that Hitman is either having trouble connecting or something else is wrong. So we'll get with you on that, my friend. Sorry about that, Rob. I mean, I don't even think it's about carrying 10 of clubs. It's just like it's impossible. Like, if I try, if I tried to be the polite guy and stay six feet away from everybody, I would be stuck in the corner of the supermarket, and I wouldn't be able to move, right? So, like, that's just how it is. It's just a tough place to be in right now. But I hope that we'll have some great matches tonight. Uh, like Last Witness said in the chat just now, it's actually really amazing that we have this technology that allows us to do stuff and have online tournaments because online tournaments, if you try to do this in PS2 era with a fighting game, who remembers... Uh, what was it, Tekken 5 DR? Was that the one for PS? No, that was PS3, right? Tekken 5 DR, worst net play ever. Like, oh, God, good luck. Then there was, like, CVS2 EO on GameCube. Who remembers that one? <laughs> Trash. All right. So next match, it looks like we're going to have Dual Kevin coming up to the plate. And Dual Kevin's opponent is Hoji. Okay, Hoji. All right, good luck to you, my friend. Let's see what you can do against the homie, Dual Kevin. This is still winner's round two, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. And it's T3's Hoji, by the way. He used to be Doom OG, now it's T3 OG. All right, I see you. Good luck, OG. He even has a nice. He's got like some some stars going through his tag. Let's make him look all. Let's make him look all fancy for his great match versus Dual Kevin. 
do Kevin Disguise, uh, do pretty legendary in the Marvel community, but also quite strong in SF5. His character did receive a, a couple of nerfs recently. Uh, most notably, the V skill 2 was nerfed to have a bigger hurt box. So that's actually a little easier to hit him. Uh, and the tornadoes also their hurt box got bigger so it's uh, you can you, you can you can't get as fancy with the old like EX tornado spin block strings and stuff like that because now they have a much better chance of pressing buttons and interrupting you. Uh, pretty big changes for him but that being said the main strategy of Rishi has oh yeah EX uppercut another big change for him he used to get a free uh, mix on knockdown after the EX uppercut now I think he only gets something free in the corner uh, mid screen nothing's really guaranteed I guess that change was fair because. A <laughs> fake cough. Oh man, I don't even want to get into that. Oh god. We have enough trouble with real coughs and people getting sick. Uppercut attempt was no go, but that uppercut will work. Actually, it's still pretty even. If Hoji can find a way to land this Aegis. Uh oh. Dual Kevin trying to take the Aegis away from him. Trigger two times. Aegis. Can you guess? Good block. You saw it. Into the scoop. Another Aegis, maybe? Yes. Oh, the EX dive kick went right through it. Damn. Bro, how godlike is the dive kick? He just went through the Aegis like it wasn't even there? All right, round number two. Dual Kevin navigating the Aegis pretty well there. Wind greater than Aegis, I guess. Wind, Wind in the sand. He knows how to make mirrors. Just use wind in the sand really fast. I don't even remember where I learned that. I feel like that was a reading rainbow fact. Anyway. Oji looking super good right now. Trying to control this corner. Nice. Huge lead. Oh, I don't think he wanted that. And he pays the price. Dual Kevin has escaped the corner. Uh oh. Man, the throws are really coming out. His throw game has been amazing. Jab, jab. Special. Damn, that was that was OD. Dual cap, no mercy. Does anyone else get bothered by this? I get funny things about Street Fighter that bother me. Does anyone else get bothered by the fact that the super stops hitting you, but he keeps doing the kick animation after the super has stopped hitting you? Does anybody else find that strange? <laughs> anyway, dual cabin. He took game number one. Pretty commanding there. Round one. You love that? You like that he's still kicking you so okay. He's just he's <laughs> he's still he's still kicking your ass after the super's over, says Rob TV. I guess that's an interesting interpretation. Whoa. Bro, they would punish each other. But Dual Kevin's was better. Now he has the corner. Hoji, trying to bring it back. What an uppercut. Can't be dropping, my friend. Calm down. Ages. Nice sweep. Just trying to fight out of it. He's got the EX dive again. Doesn't like he's going to need to try that trick, though, because he still has a pretty healthy health lead. Healthy, healthy. Dad, try saying that three times fast. Swept. Damn. Actual footsies. Round two. Point. Why no Cody? Says CP and Dudley. I don't know. I love Cody, but he's just people don't like him in this game. What can I say? Outside the V trigger too. The pipe is amazing. Everything else about Cody, you gotta earn the pipe. Uppercut again. He even had time to delay it a little bit. Who saw that? EX. Pressure. All the throws have been hitting. Crush. I don't think I don't think a single throw has been tech. Finally, Hoji escapes. Out of there. He's got one more Aegis. And if he doesn't make this Aegis count for something big, mm, that's not gonna do it. Damn, this is looking like like outplayed, one of those situations. Dual Kevin kinda did everything right. Pretty much every round. Hoji did have one strong round in the first game. I'm not even sure what Hoji can do anymore. He has no resources left. Dual Kevin has everything. Even has the trigger right now stocked up. And a great uppercut again.
Rashid Wynn. All right, dual Kevin. So dual Kevin will advance. Uh, he'll be facing off against FGC Carlos, who actually sent profits to the loser's bracket. Good job, FGC Carlos. All right. Might get to see a little bit of what you can do also. In the meantime, guys, that, that was 2-0 for Dual Kevin. Next match will be coming up in just a bit, fellas. In the meantime, I want to remind you to please check out the Match Arena crowdfund and help us out if you can, everybody. Uh, every little bit counts that you guys can contribute tonight. We've already reached $235.03, by the way. You even threw the three cents in there. Thanks a lot, guys. But seriously, every bit counts. You can use the promo save NOBC 20 to add 50 cents to the prize pool absolutely free. One half of whatever you donate tonight will go to support Henry Sen and Next Level during the downtime of, downtime of the coronavirus. The other half will go to support the top three players tonight. And we have some amazing players, including three, count them, three Capcom Cup champs entered into the bracket. So if you want to support them and see them play their best, guys, please try that code, save NLBC20. And also check out the text GAMER1 to 876642, where you'll add $1 to the match we know tonight. And you'll also get great special offers from Sonic. All right, so coming up next, we got No Need to Talk. This guy's got a sick E Honda. And No Need to Talk representing Team DTN, I believe. Uh, no Need to Talk's opponent. Let's see. It's Rompe Pollo. Mix box, please. Rompe Pollo. All right. Why do you break chicken? I don't even know, but he breaks chickens. Is, is he a cook? Is that like a chef joke? And we're setting up for the match right now, fellas. No need to talk already here. Rompe Pollo had to win actually two to get here versus uh, No Need to Talk had a bye. He's been a consistent top eight finisher, so no surprise that he was seated. All right, well, we'll see what Rompe Pollo has. I'm actually mad curious what's going to happen in this matchup. While we wait, fellas, I just want to remind you all that you can still, su still support Team Spooky directly using Amazon Prime. Please help us out, everybody, if you can. We do appreciate all the direct support, everybody. You also get those cool subscriber icons. You get the coins. You get to use all the icons all throughout Discord. And you get to support me directly, guys. Everything that you do to support us really helps, especially subscribing when you subscribe using that Amazon Prime. It helps us to continue to do this for you, throw on more tournaments, do more house streams, and more events, especially during the downtime of Corona. Anyway, coming up next is going to be more winners round three. Excuse me, winners round three. It's not winners round two anymore, and it's going to be no need to talk versus Rompe Pollo. Thank you, GNX. Thanks, GNX, for your subscription, my friend. I do appreciate your support. And thanks for using that five, my friend. Round Very one. kind of you. Welcome to the stream tonight, and enjoy as we have No Need to Talk. Rank 37, Warlord rank. Up against Rompe Pollo. He's playing Falk. We don't see this character too often. Actually, I see her most often when Arturo plays her. Outside of that, not too many people representing. Uh, no, no need to talk is just no need to talk. I really know, don't know him as another title. He's just a beastly Honda. He's been playing a lot online a lot lately. This is a very close match so far. I like what Rompe Pollo is doing, especially with the, that stand HP. Excuse me, stand MP, I want to say that one is. I don't know her buttons that well. Whoa. Shots. Man, my man actually took to the... Whoa, he got actually killed. Oh, no! He dropped! And that was actually the smartest thing that Rompe Pollo could have done. He literally immediately did a super. <laughs> he might have been mashing the super during the combo. Like, I hope he drops. Damn. That would have been a godlike comeback. But instead, Rompe Pollo staying strong. Yeah. 
Ouch. Damn, he has those. I like what he's doing. He's creating those little gaps, and when you try to press like a jab or something, within the gap, instead of it being a throw, he's going for the big boy combos. And in fact, even despite this nice sequence from No Need to Talk, Rompe Pollo has a pretty good lead. That hurts. Extension. Damn, that was like 30%. Bro, do you see the glow? Oh, he let it go. He's like, I don't need that anymore. I'm good. Oh, you might you might have needed that, my friend. You might you might want to charge up. Oh, ho, ho, your stomach. Be reverse. Damn again. He makes it look like it's a throw, and then buttons. Falk wins. And Rompe Pollo taking the first one. Uh, I hear you, Dorsey. I, I I guess both these con these characters would be considered Round like, one. especially compared to some of the rest right. of the cast. But that being said, these guys are especially no need to talk. Really exceptional for how he plays his Honda. And Rompe Pollo played that really smart, by the way. He had so many throw fakes mixed in. Damn, mad damage. That was that was little little mini reset there as well. Activation from Rompe Pollo. He's got the trigger one and the skill one, by the way. I have seen sometimes some players will like to use the trigger two because it kind of has some reversal properties. Thank you, Neo Cable, by the way. Thanks for the two Aeons, my friend. Ouch, your face. Dos Koi. Oh, he's doing he's doing all the strings now. He's getting nasty with that mix. And defending the skies as well. So that Rompe Pollo cannot mix him up. Damn the chop. Yo, he tried to steal her sneakers. Did you see that? He was like, gimme, give gimme, give gimme give the loafers. I need those. He will still steal shoes in New York, by the way. Just so you know. Ooh, Dos Koi. Prepare yourself. That's, that's, that's gonna hurt a lot. Next hit is definitely stunned. He might, wow, are you serious? One hit super? He was just ready? One jab to super? You got those on the you? Online even? That's actually mad hard. That was, that was crazy. That wasn't even third strike. He did one hit to super. That's, that's a jab to super even. That ain't easy. Oh, will get scooped anyway. No need to talk was unfazed. He was like, that was pretty cute, my friend, but Honda wins. now I'm going to sit on you. Yo, what was the name of the sumo wrestler from WWE, guys? And literally his finisher was he would do that to you in the corner. He would just sit on your chest while you were in the corner under the Yokozuna. Yes, bro. That definitely, whenever I see him do that, I think of Yokozuna right Round away. One. Fight. Rikishi also had a similar finish, right? Where he would just sit on you in the corner and just try to break your ribs. I think he actually did break someone's ribs like that, which really shows you the power of what Honda's doing to you there when he sits on you like that. You see how buff those legs are, by the way? You ever seen a fat man with legs that strong? I think that you should not let him sit on you. That was a terrible idea. Oh, the jab head butt. Mm. Bro. Yokozuna wasn't Japanese? That's okay. Because there was he from Hawaii or something like that? Is that where he was from originally? Anyway. I actually like Yokozuna a lot. There was Samoan? Okay, alright. Duffed. Bro, she's taming the beast with the stick. Did you see that? She was just like, ah! <laughs> but the pole that was some martial arts shit. that was like the training montage you headbutt the pole oh. now I'm powerful enough to face the final enemy bro please headbutt the, the, the stand heavy again that would be incredible too trigger's gonna expire very soon for Rompe Pollo it does expire and no need to talk he was in and he didn't even care now he's really in Oh my god, took the knockdown, he cashed out. Get off me, be reverse. Eat this, I can wake up match too. Oh my, of course he was scared. Of course he was scared. 
Damn, he really, he really did the Yokozuna to her just now. Honda wins. Damn. All right. So no need to talk with advance. A good job to Rope Poyo, who actually you can tell that he has a really nice, really nice fall. I hope that we see more of him in the loser side. So top eight or top damn, do we not even end the top eight point yet? This is so crazy. All right, I'm gonna show you a look at the bracket because uh, some of the matches have played out and I'm sure that you guys wanna keep up with us. The score was two one for no need to talk. So bracket wise, what we got fellas, let's take a look. We got Knuckle Do, I guess this one's not a surprise because he was last week's winner. He pretty much, he done, okay, 2-1. Sleepwalker took a game off him. Good job, Sleepwalker. But in the end, he kind of coasted his way here to this point where there's a good chance that he'll be facing. Uh, okay, we still don't know what happened with this match. Rob TV and Hitman. All right, well, Hitman, you better show up soon. He's having internet trouble. Well, that's sad. Okay, well, I hope you don't get DQ'd for internet trouble here, man. But it's Corona. Maybe Corona got in the pipes. 5G gives you Corona, guys, if you haven't heard. I'm only joking. I'm sorry. Please don't take that seriously. Zafirino versus Joey. This is also to make it to top eight. Man, and Joey beat Tanachi. Two zero Joey, man. You need to give yourself a nickname soon, bro, because you're kicking ass. I'm going to give you a nickname if you don't give yourself a nickname soon, bro. Idon versus Dap Vip. That's going to be live on the stream right now. So let's get it set up. Aidam, right, of course, the Capcom Cup champion, 19 edition, 2019. He's beastly. He's got Laura. He's got poison. He's got everything. Self-sponsored. Aidam, right, the god. OG Yawn. Thank you, Yawn. What's good, man? Thanks for joining again, by the way, Yawn. I do appreciate you, and I appreciate you supporting Next Level with your entry tonight, bro. That's very kind of you. And I think he helps run the tournament, too. Oh, he runs his own tournament, yes. Mm-hmm. You can link your tournament if you want in the chat. You want to tell the homies all about what you got. Round so we can always use more. So IDOM is player one, and player two is DapVip. ATL area, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Representing GB, GB DapVip. Uh, and he's drawn a pretty strong opponent here. Of course, in IDOM, rank number eight. He kept his rank eight this time. He didn't even go back to rank nine. That's crazy, right? Single digit rank. Get punished by my single digit rank combo. It does mad stun and mad damage. Oh my god. Is he dead? Alright. Where are you looking? I don't even know. I'm looking at Laura. Bro, did you see? Did you see the Bro, did you see the button go right through her foot? How broken is Idom's Laura, guys? He has invincibility glitch? Game genie codes? Links. Bro, I don't even know what Dab is supposed to do. EX dive kick, maybe? That might be his way in. Okay, nice. Well, if the jab checks and Dab has a chance to play. He's, he's respecting a lot. He's not jumping. He's not trying to overextend. But he's, he's kind of poking in a way where he might be able... Wow. And Idom's also defending himself with a lot of buns. Nice uppercut. The range. That won't go so far. Again, look at that activation. I'm in. Into the school. I was defended. And you want to put all that stuff. Game number one. I dom. That was fast. Laura wins. Have you guys noticed how she like nestles your arm after she breaks it? She's like, oh baby. Your arm's broken. Well, I got you. <laughs> oh man, alright, so Idom took the first one. We'll Round see if that Vip can adjust a little bit. He probably he must be so good in this matchup by now because he must have fought a million and one camis back in season one. Bro, there were so many. Guys, how many Cami and Chun-Li players do you remember fighting in season one? Ouch. Buttons. All my buttons are landing if I'm Idom right now. Cross under. School. Okay, he was a little early there on the follow-up elbow, I believe. 
that allowed Dat Vip to escape. He's got another trigger mix coming. He, I'm sure that he wants to actually do damage here, but he only has so much time to get to use it. And there it is. Yeah, bro, there was a million Chun-Li players. It was crazy. Whatever happened to that one Chun that was going to all the Big E tournaments and getting top eight? Damn, his name escapes me at the moment. Terrence. It is, it is Terrence. There you go. Man, I got to see that guy play again. Terrence. No Good Citizen also was ready with the Terrence reference. <laughs> I see y'all. I got right now three rounds straight. That VIP, I'm not even sure what he can do because, bro, it's IDOM. I wish I had advice for him. Instead of my advice is uh, don't jump out and get anti-aired, I don't even know. Idon's been winning the footies war too consistently. He's throwing out his, his crouch medium and his other long range pokes uh, to stop Dapvip's approach. Finally Dapvip has the corner. Oh my goodness, he had the corner. Stayed in front, another mix. This time behind, Dapvip blocked successfully but could not escape. That's a stun. And I think the jumping combo is going to be enough. Oh my goodness, it was enough. Where was the scaling, my guy? Scaling? No scaling for Laura Laura combos? Wins. We don't need that scaling stuff. Jesus. Oh, City of Brass says, yo, this was my first O2. I'm so sad. I'm sorry, City. Don't be sad, bro. It's a hard tournament, man. What can I tell you? These guys are so beastly. Speaking of beastly, Idom really beasted that one. We're going to have a quick little 895, guys, while we set up for the next match. We're going to be setting up for the next one momentarily. Please, I implore you guys, please check out the Match Arena crowdfund if you have just a minute. We could definitely use your support tonight, guys. We reached $239.53. But every little bit that you contribute really helps out, guys. Give it a try. Use that promo code SAVENOBC20 to add 50 cents to the price. We're absolutely free. You can also check out all the great G Fuel sponsor quests here in the sidebar. You can even click here to find even more quests. You can check out the Twitter quests, YouTube quests, the click quests. You can buy products in their store, and you can also contribute directly, guys. And every little bit counts. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Flag Chan, for the $100. Blinded Justice for the $3750. Cheesyologist. Caffeine Crash. And Vento Lin. Anyway, it looks like we got Shine stepping up to the plate versus No Need to Talk. Hell yeah, this is going to be a great match. Now I'm excited. Let me get the hell out of the way. We're about to do this. Shine versus No Need to Talk. I'm sorry, City. You know, that's what happens to me when I play at Battle Circuit. Half the time I go into and I'm just like, damn, why is everyone so good? Why am I so bad? I start questioning, like, should I even be playing fighting games? <laughs> that's how you know they're good when you start talking like that. Should I even play fighting games? <laughs> what am I doing? I'm a scrub. I should play a shooting game or something. Winner's quarterfinal. Shine versus no need to talk. This should be an amazing match. The winner will make top eight. Winner's side. Damn, all, all the top eight qualifier matches and winners are all going to be crazy, I think. So let's see. We got uh, Knuckle Dude versus the winner of Mena and Rob TV. Uh, we have Zaffarino versus Joey. We have Idom versus Dual Kevin. And we have this match, Shine versus No Need to Talk. And uh, these two have, they have kind of crossed paths so far in these tournaments. Uh, Shine has, Shine has kind of gotten the best of No Need to Talk before. But you know, No Need to Talk, this guy is not a joke. And the more that he gets experience and the more that he fights someone of Shine's caliber, the more that he's going to raise himself up. So I would, I would probably be a little bit apprehensive right now if I'm Shine. And Shine is attacking immediately. Okay, he got the two-parter on the EX Kunai, but no need to talk poke out anyway. V-reversal. I don't need to mix you up. I just need to not have to guess. And that was a lot of great health just now. Thank you, K-Dav. Thank you for the 35 Aeons. 35. Thank you, my friend. Sorry if I missed anyone tonight. I do appreciate all of your support, everyone. Got you. Get off me. I don't think so. No need to talk. Great defense again with the jab headbutt. And again, V-reversal for Shine. Whenever he sees those hands, he reverses right away. That's his way of not dealing with the mix. Out of there. 
Wrath of the Black Manta. It's back. Oh, ho, ho. that was mad help. Again, Shine, what an Abara. He knew that it was okay to press a button, and he also knew it was okay to grab. Great sequence by him. No need to talk to probably thinking to the man. If I had just hit that. <laughs> oh, chat. I see you guys. Me and Art are not brothers. Although we are long time homies. <laughs> the, the devil be trolling some poor guy in the chat and telling him that me and Art are brothers. Poor guy. I'm so sorry. Uppercut. That was a good one. Here, kitty cat. Mookie really likes cats, guys, if you didn't know. By the way, they're both Warlord rank. Isn't that insane? Someone would be mad salty if they fought this match online and they lost. They would be pretty pissed. Cross under. Nice one. No Need Talk was not ready. Shuriken. Actually, the Shuriken mix can kill, but good defense from No Need Talk. He down back his way out of it. Uh, mm. He has mad meter. He spent it. No chance for comeback. Duh. Damn, you see how he's sweating? The sweat was glistening on Honda during the critical card. Did you guys notice that? Final round. You don't know who $3 is, CJ Grayson? $3 is Shine. He has the $3 shape. That's why we call him $3, I guess. I don't know. Actually, his shape-ups look pretty good. They're not really $3 shape-ups anymore. Anyway. I guess this is what happens when you start doing good on TV and stuff like that for Capcom Pro Tour. You can afford a better haircut. I don't know. Who even gives a $3 shape-up in New York nowadays? Damn, the pokes are good. And no need to talk for this way out of the corner. Get off. No. I don't want to guess. Target. Into full combo. Damn, that was on point. Shine, please. You can't move. Even when you even when you try to neutral jump. Neutral jump not allowed. No need to talk. Trying to come back. Get off. Oh, he armored through it. That was tight. Damn. Did that, did that save him? No need to talk. Oh, no. Damn, he literally did that rip. He let every dagger rip. He was like, ha! Ah, I don't want to fight anymore. Take one of these. Name your favorite ninja game in the chat right now, guys. Your favorite ninja game. For me, it's the Ninja Warriors again. I love that game. Tenchu. Hell yeah, Tenchu's Round dope. One. Sekiro, Shinobi, Fight. Naruto. Just that Naruto's not a ninja game. It's like they have a game, I guess. Ninja Gaiden, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Hell yeah. I see all you guys. Dead or Alive. Technically, that's a ninja game, I guess. The Messenger. Hell yeah, The Messenger's dope. Actually, I own that game. I haven't even played it yet. I need to try it out. The Messenger. It has 8-bit and 16-bit components. Really fun. DOA Beach Volleyball. That's not a ninja game. That's a game where ninjas dress up. <laughs> Shine has a huge lead in this first round here. No need to talk. I don't even know what he can do anymore. The anti-air was good, but he needs he needs to hit a lot of this mix. Reversal. Of course he's gonna be reversal. Every time that Shine sees hands, if you guys notice, every time he sees a hand that's confirmable to him, he re reversals immediately. Chip out? He got it. Wow, that was that was close. It almost didn't reach. That was like the very end of the slide. Look at that spacing by Sean. Round two. Point. Surf Ninja? What the hell is Surf Ninja? Okay, I need to know what that is. I'm literally going to look it up after this match. Surf Ninja. Okay. Interrupt. Get off. Yo, my man. Honda really can fly. By the way. And again, when he saw hands, he reversed it immediately. That's the strategy of Shine. And I wonder if No Need to Talk has a way to counteract that. Probably not, because if he wants to if he wants to create pressure, he needs the hands to kind of create that chip pressure that he likes. Activation. Hands again V reversal. No pressure allowed. Cross up. Gotcha. Mm, confirmed, but it's still not enough. And that one will be enough. 
well played shot 2-0. Ibuki wins. I think the strongest the strongest thing that we saw from Shine there strategy wise was definitely the V reversal to beat hands. Uh, pretty much every time he saw hands, he didn't even care about having his own V trigger. He just cared about eliminating hands as a mix up. And it worked well for him. Thank you, Naoto Gray. Thanks for the 25 Aeons, Naoto Gray. I do appreciate your long term support, my friend. Uh, and I got to say something to all of you guys that are watching right now. If you just joined the stream, or if you've been here all day today, uh, and you know, you've just been enjoying and having a good time with us during Next Level Battle Strike at week six. But there's an important thing that you must do for me, guys. You must subscribe to Team Spooky right now. We do appreciate all of your support, everyone. By supporting us here at Team Spooky, you help us pay for internet and bandwidth costs. You help us organize the tournament and get all the people here. And you help us do all the great things that we need to bring you a quality stream, guys. All your support is appreciated. Thank you, everybody. And thanks to all the subs that are here. Total subscriber count is currently 11.03. And yeah, it's week, week six of Next Level Battle Circuit Online Edition. Crazy, right? All right, guys. So while we set up for the next match, which I believe will be another winner's quarter, I want to check out the match arena and thank you all for all of your direct support tonight. Currently, the match arena has reached $253. Thank you, guys. Of course, there's still lots of those free coupon codes available. The code is SAVENOBC20. Please throw it in there if you have a moment. In fact, I'm going to throw it in there myself because I've been asking you guys to do it and I haven't done it myself yet. So I'm going to jump on the match arena right now. The links are all in the chat. I'm going to throw in my free 50 cent code and I'm going to help support. And then we're going to have IDOM versus Dual Kevin. This should be another big matchup. And of course, good luck to both monsters. Where is my OBS? I can't even control anything. There's just too many things going on. Spooky, please. All right, let's go. IDOM the God versus Dual Kevin. Dual Kevin actually will be player one. IDOM will be player two, it looks like. Idom was looking like his regular old self so far tonight. That, then, then again, he always kind of looks like that. It's only until finally he was defeated by Knuckle Dude that I was like, wow, somebody Let's actually beat him. This. But usually, usually extremely strong. Thank you, Dat Roop. Is this supposed to be like Dat Roop? Dat Roop. Thank you, Dat Roop. Thanks for the two Aeons, my friend. You definitely are doing your part to support me directly here at Team Spooky. And I do appreciate it, bro. Thanks for the resub. <laughs> just a kid is in here betting it. Haha, <laughs> side bets are not esports, just a kid. But it's okay, because this isn't really esports. It's leave me in my <laughs> me in my apartment and all of us playing each other online. Uh so let's see. Dual Kevin. Let me flip that, fellas. Dual Kevin is player one, I down's player two. I'm non esports, he says. He's non esports, guys. Watch out. Alright, dual Kevin. Rank 338. I Dom. NY rank eight. How about that single digit rank, fellas? Florida to New York. Hey, so how has the last couple of nep Whoa, are you serious? Bro! Mm -hmm. You need to you need to watch your feet. That was that was a huge sun combo. And wall jump gets him out of there. Yeah, oh, Dual Kevin's trying to play. If he gets the super, uh-oh. If he gets the stun, damn, the stun. What a comeback, Dual Kevin. That was the first round of the match? Holy shit. Watson, the box. Thank you for the 10 Aeons, my friend. Damn, he <laughs> I thought tried to read the, the shimmy, but Dual Kevin had the perfect throw timing. That was actually sick. Back throw. What's up, Myers? Welcome to the stream tonight, my friend. Yeah, Rashid happened. The wall jump was part of what started. Heart raid. I don't even know what she's really saying. Is she saying hard raid or heart raid? That's a stun. And Dual Kevin is going to send out full resources, but he's not going to really get to use any of it, I don't think. Uppercut. He doesn't care. He's spending resources anyway. I want I want to be in this round. Heart raid. Hard raid. Hard raid. My favorite part of this game is definitely trying to, to interpret what they're saying. Final round. Here Kitty Cat, that's still my favorite, the Abuki V skill. Here Kitty Cat, that will never leave my head. Hard Rave, okay. Is that the type of rave that you go to, Alex Myers? Hard Rave. When you get home, you can't even use your legs anymore because you've been raving all night. Damn, the footsies are actually kind of crazy from IDOM right now. Dude, Kevin is fighting from like three whips of the screen away. 
<laughs> it's like, how do I get close, please? So would tell me. I don't understand. Tried to get the crush instead. Damn, jab, jab again. Not even the crouch jab, the stand jab. That's confidence. He knows that it will interrupt. Nice lane. Not enough, though. That's enough. Damn, and then he slapped him up? You know where Rashid is from? You can't just slap a man. That's actually disrespectful. Poison How can she win. slap? I do First game. Duel Kevin had a really amazing comeback the first round, but... <laughs> what kind of gaming? Bro, I love that guy. How can she slap that guy was so angry? He wasn't even, it wasn't even that he was physically hurt. It was more like he was just mentally damaged by what had happened anyway. Ouch. Hit it. Okay. Nice, all right. Looks like Duel Kevin woke up a little bit, but Idom using that amazing, that, a lot of players use that tech, but Idom I find is especially good at it. He likes to backdash when he thinks that you'll go for meaty throw. And uh, he's got a pretty high success rate at it. Uh, sometimes he'll do backdash to button, sometimes he'll do backdash to like overhead or something like that. And... Oh, wow, he grabbed it. Okay, how about that? Probably unintentional from Duel Kevin, but it lets him continue to play. Activation again. Oh, he got hit by it. That's actually huge for Duel Kevin. No, you can't get away because the whirlwind's still here. And he got the link, but it's not enough. Raw Super, can he get out? He cannot. Seems like Duel Kevin was pretty convinced that that Raw Super was going to work. Round two. Point. All right. Damn, Duel Kevin. Idom has still been dominant when it comes to the footsies world. Whenever they're playing neutral, it's been really a lot of Idom. Duel Kevin has been good at finding that just one chance. He gets the corner one time because of an awkward situation, and uh, he takes full advantage of it. But if you if you want to take this set cleanly two out of three, he's gonna have to find a way to win the neutral also. What's up? Shoot, I think that was 2-0 shine. I don't remember though, sorry. Right there. Damn. Dominant by I Dom. I domination. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is that one chance. This is what he needed. He had to spend the trigger though, and he didn't really get a lot of damage out of it. The throw is good. Another throw is good. He does not have critical card, so the damage potential is only okay. Empty low gets nothing, and that is an anti air, my friend. Final round. Damn, Poison has like an 8-pack. Who sees that? She's mad strong. I just watched Tifa's abs from Final Fantasy VII. I'm pretty sure that Poison's abs are more powerful. How is that possible? Thank you, Dark Mamba Zero. Thanks for the sub. Also, Engin X. Thank you both. Dark Mamba Zero with the three Aeons. And Engin X using that Prime. Thank you, my friend. Scoop again. Damn, that was nice. He used the wind momentum to get the optimal uppercut. Another throw. Oh, that's going to hit. Damn. It's going to be even, pretty much. Even match. Idom has the mid screen. Bamboo. Thank you, Bamboo, for the 5 A on that nice, man. Dual Kevin stayed strong. That was actually kind of scary after the super... But he takes it. 1-1. One, one. This is a 2 out of 3. So Dual Kevin only needs one more to upset Idom and send him to the loser's side. Idom actually has the option to change to Laura here. I don't know that he'll do it. He does not. Round right, one. So here's the matchup. V trigger 2 still for Idom. He's got those great trigger combos. Dual Kevin trigger 1. Tornadoes. I throw tornadoes at you. They're scary. I also fly when I throw tornadoes at you. That's the part that's the scariest. Amscray. 
Oh man. Duo Kaneva. Says Knuckle Dude. One, two. He's actually really close to getting the stun. Overhead. Damn, full combo for that. And he reset it with the throw. That was a smart reset. Duel Kevin, you playing Marvel right now, bro? That was a lot of resets. He still has one Molotov available for the combo. He tosses it out. He could have combo from that, I'm pretty sure. Did not take it. Oh, the punish. Damn. Is that why he was standing at that range the whole time? He was like, please, I dare you to be first. Please do it. Best week, Duel Kevin won't do that again. Oh, your nutsack. Damn, that was actually a sack tap. T Rod. T Rod won. Thank you, my friend, for the six Aeons. Thanks so much for joining us. Your feet. I don't think that he was close enough to confirm a cut. Wow! The button actually beat the anti air clean. Who saw that? Oh, that time defeated. No, he didn't get a combo. Damn. That would have been a huge momentum boost there for Duel Kevin. Now he's fighting really far from behind. At least he doesn't have any more Molotovs to deal with. Good block on the overhead, but not a punish. Mm, unfortunate. Damn, actually, Duel Kevin had a couple chances in that round. Is it only minus four or is it minus five? I wonder about that. Is it actually minus four? That's really hard to punish. I'm not surprised that people have trouble punishing it all the time. Well, he tried to go for the, the medium, which doesn't work. <laughs> Just a kid. <laughs> well, money's exchanging hands in the chat, fellas, I guess. In the meantime, we're going to set up for the next match in just a moment. Uh, thank you for all the support on the match, you know, crowdfund, guys. Seriously. I'm sorry if I sound like a broken record with these, but really, really, I hound about this over and over because I want you guys to help us out and support both the players and the next level tonight. Uh, yeah, City, definitely use those primes if you have them, bro, whether you use it here or use it on someone else's stream. Anyway, guys, $255 donated by all of you. We appreciate all the support, guys. You can actually donate absolutely free. This is what I meant to do. I knew I said I had to do something. I need to donate to the match arena right now. You can donate absolutely free. Use that code SAVENOPC20. I'm going to do it right now myself. We're setting up for the next match in just a moment, guys. Oh, I see you guys, 257. We're growing little by little. You can also check out, by the way, guys, if you want to help us out and donate via cell phone, okay? You can actually donate for free by uh, texting our friends at Sonic. And uh, here's all the info on that, guys, in, in an easy way or an easier way for you guys to check it out. Basically, what you got to do is you got to text Gamer1 to 876642. Text that number right now and you'll actually get special offers from Sonic. You'll also add 50, it's actually a dollar. It says 50 and 25 here, but you actually add 50 cents to the prize pool and you add 50 cents directly to Henry Sen slash Next Level, who are the organizers of the tournament, if you will. Technically, we're organizing and we're just helping Lord Henry out. Thank you, Henry, for all the support, though. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to contribute, text Gamer1 to 876642. I'm going to check out the privacy policy if you're interested in more information. SonicDriving.com forward slash policy for the whole pri privacy policy and more information. Anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. We're setting up for the next match right now. If you're enjoying the stream, of course, we've been getting lots of subs tonight. But please, please, I implore you to consider subscribing to us, fellas. It's the best way, best way to support us. Is there a Sonic in New York? I don't even know. I've never, I don't remember seeing one, that's for sure. Did Meta really DQ himself? No good citizen? Oh, that sucks. No! And yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, so it sounds like, unfortunately, uh, Capcom Cup champ Meta ID is having connection troubles. Well, that makes me really sad. I wanted to see what he could do in the tournament tonight. I wanted my three Capcom Cup. I want, I want my cake and eat it too. Thank you, Bezert14. Thank you for your sub. You gave me the cake, okay? But I want the cake and I want the three Capcom Cup champs, okay? I want everything. I'm being greedy right now. I guess he didn't pay his 895, says Jamu Wave. Well, that sucks.
Anyway, we're setting up for the next match right now. It's going to be Joey, and Joey's opponent is, let's see, I haven't even looked. Zaffarino. Okay, Zaff versus Joey. This should be a good match. Yeah, I want to I want to see him play. I, no, uh, Rob said that, I don't know. I'm going to, I'm not making any assumptions because I didn't see the match. How about that? But uh, Zaffarino's here. Joey is here. Looks like we're ready for another good one. The winner, of course, will make top eight winner side. I'm going to the back of the line, the back of the queue. Who's playing ranked match? Zap? Oh, then he was playing ranked? <laughs> okay, he was practicing while while being in the tournament, I guess. I mean, I guess that makes sense. You're a nut, Zap. All right, so Zafarino finally has arrived. <laughs> he was playing ranked, apparently. That That's almost as bad as what Double L did. Who, he played in three different tournaments, including one that his region wasn't even allowed to let him enter. And then we even had guys mad, like, why is Double L allowed to do all that? And I'm not. What's so special about Double L? <laughs> Joey versus Zaffarino, guys. I'm excited. I want to see what Joey can do tonight because he's been having a pretty good tournament today. One of his stronger performances at the series. He defeated Tanachi and OG on. And he's repping Falk. Damn, yo, we have a lot of Falk Round players. One. Where's this character coming from? She's just coming out of nowhere. I like this Falk outfit a lot. She looks like she's going to make my burger at Sonic after the match is over. Yeah, he won four. He won four hundred and twenty dollars. Says no good citizen uh, at the Registry Fighter Weekly on Monday. What well, props to him? Uh, yeah. Did he win with Falk? Because that's exceptional if he did. Anyway, shout out to Joey. I know that he also plays Mika, and he has some other ones. Zap looking great this first round. He he literally he he mauled. He didn't give up on all the trades. Round two. Four twenty sixty nine. CJ Grayson. Speaking of which, donate to the match, you know, guys, if you're enjoying tonight. For real, for real, guys. We need all of your support. Upper. That was a good one. It's hard to jump over the tiger shots, believe it or not. That was good. And now Joey gets a chance to play. Activation. He's using the trigger one, by the way. It's a mix. No, no mix allowed. Shots. He got the combo. That was beautiful. Nice. Great combo off the air fireball. And now trigger has expired, but Zap has his turn. Link no go. That was smart. Upper. Don't jump at me like that, bro. I don't care that you're a tiger. Crush. Final My favorite part of Scarface is the part where he gets the pet tiger. It sounds like he's totally talking shit. He's like, I, I want to get a tiger. And then he really gets one. Oh, he, damn. That was that was a tricky Kara. Empty Kara into the meaty job. I would have pressed something. Punishment. He's looking for the stun. No, he's not going to get it. Oh, he, he damn. Never mind. He might. He's working for it. Joey, so smart. Foy's his way out of the corner. Very clean. Baiting the V reversal. Watch your feet, though. My man has standing lows. Oh, not that time, buddy. Not that time. Sagat wins. All right, Zafarino takes game number one. How will Joe change it up in game two? He might switch to his Mika. He might not. He might just like Falk tonight. I feel like Mika would be a good pick here. We'll see what he chooses. He rematched. All right, Joey. He said, today I'm going to show you what I can do with the girl from Sonic. Yo, I swear she's really wearing a hat like they wear at Sonic when you order a burger. I'm not even BSing you. Anyway, scoops. Exactly, you know, early corner pressure. Thank you, Superior Scum. Thanks for joining us, my friend. Thank you for the 11 Aeons. Almost up to one year, bro. That's a lot of Aeons. Thank you. 
crush. Watch your feet. Into the sea. Oh, that was a dis Oh, and it became a crush counter. It was a reset crush counter. That that's gross. That was way too much damage. Round two. I don't I don't know if that one was plus. It's hard to tell sometimes with those EXDs. You have to hit it very late in the animation. Crush you. Oh damn, that hurts. Damn, Zappy evened it up for one combo basically. Get off. Oh, uh, all that great health gone. Oh my god, this is not looking good. Joey, please. No, don't whip throws. The connection, please. We want to fight. <laughs> Upper. No, he didn't do it. He, wow. That was, see, that was the, I missed my, my, my uppercut in your jump, so I'm just going to uppercut anyway. That was one of those, but Zafarino hit it clean. And that was a good amount of damage. All right. Zafarino taking it 2-1. Good job, Zaf. You will advance into the top eight. And uh, Joey, unfortunately, will have to try his luck among the sharks. By the way, there's a lot of sharks. Would you guys like to see them? Rawr. That's not even the sound that a shark would make, but that's how scary they are. Sharks-wise, let's see. In the Lucy bracket, we got Dual Kevin versus Brian Neff. That's two sharks going at it. That's actually Jaws 3. Was there even a Jaws 3? No need to talk versus Prophet. Jaws 4. We got Joey down here versus the winner of Carlos and Neon. That's going to be Jaws for sure. And then we got Rompe Pollo versus Ludovic. And we still don't even know who the winner of that will face. Jaws 3D. I forgot about that. Damn, that's real. That really was a thing. Jaws 3D. That actually exists. Match me no crowdfund, guys. Thank you for all the support, everybody. We received $348. That's a huge jump from the last match. One of you guys gave $100 or something, didn't you? We're about to find out right now. Flag Chan. And powerful Antoine with the $69.69, the signature of Antoine. Thank you, Antoine. He also says, Spooky, remember that one time? I don't even know what one time you're talking about, but I do appreciate your support. We also have Blinded Justice, Cheesyologist, and Caffeine Crap. So as we set up for this next match, guys, the next one is going to be us. Knuckle Do versus... Who does Knuckle Do face off against? Uh, Rob TV. We need, we need uh, Zaffarino to... Get the hell out before I kick you out. Get out, Zaf. Kick. Get him out of here. <laughs> All right. All right. So now, now we just need to get the homie Rob TV in the house. In the meantime, guys, while we set up for the next match, I want to remind you all that if you're enjoying the stream tonight, there's one great way that you can support me and Team Spooky directly, and that's by subscribing to us here at Team Spooky, guys. You can use your Amazon Prime, just like all the info here, to subscribe it's absolutely free. So if you have not used your monthly Prime yet, guys, please, I implore you to support us here at Team Spooky, especially if you're enjoying the great matches tonight. Thanks, everyone, for all the support. So we're just waiting to get the homie Rob TV here. In the meantime, quick little 895 while we set it up. 895. Thanks, everyone, for all the support. Another little look at the bracket here while we wait. Just need to get the homie Rob TV up in here so that we can begin bracket-wise. Knuckle Dude versus Rob TV. This will be at the top of the bracket. The winner will face Zaffarino. Good job, Zaffarino, with the 2 over Joey. Idom defeated Dual Kevin. And Shine defeated No Need to Talk. So Idom and Shine are going to have a great rematch. They've been having some exceptional matches against each other as of late. Uh, so this one should also be great. My wallet, Knuckle Dude. Too bad that uh, the homie Mena was having connection problems. That's really a shame. Anyway, Knuckle Dude versus Rob TV. Coming up momentarily. Oh, did I break it? I'm always scared that I'm breaking everything. Whenever whenever something weird happens. Oh, Cloud Strife. What up, Cloud Strife V1? Uh, no MJ Gaming. Uh, we're just waiting for... We're just waiting for... Uh, Rob TV, basically. Loser has to dump the pee bucket. That doesn't sound good. 
That doesn't sound good at all. Yeah, lots of cats here tonight. Oh, so Do and Rob TV are in the same place? I didn't even realize that. Do they even have multiple consoles? <laughs> Do they have to punch each other? And uh, I almost said something terrible. Do they have to play offline and then just tell us who won or something? I don't know. I was about to make some terrible joke like they need to fight in real life. And then the winner of the real life fight will just turn around and say that I won the Street Fighter fight. But no, I don't encourage violence. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, they're all together. What are they? What are they trying to make the the, the the special do gamer house body everyone house? Is that what they're trying to build out there? Because they're doing a pretty good job. If so, yeah, Roshan both for it. Whoever can't handle a kick to the nuts can't continue on in the tournament in winter song. The Ginyu Force, Voltron. What up, Sai? Thanks to everybody that's been tuning in tonight, fellas. All right, Rob TV has arrived. Let's do this. Let me get out of the way. So Knuckle Do will be player one. Rob will be player two. There should be another great match. I imagine that these two probably have a unique familiarity with each other, uh, which probably favors, you know, probably favors Do, of course. But we'll see what happens. Bloody hands. Much love to you. Much love, Trinidad Esports. No Good Citizen, who's been up in here pretty much every week for the online tournaments. Thank you, No Good Citizen, and all the Reddish Street Fighter homies. OMG Blaze, Pi Psy, AMD Opteron. You love AMD so much you named yourself after AMD. Old Man Ronin, Lamar. Who else we got? Ten of Clubs, E Loudy, Divinity, Blackheart the God, Aspire, Lamau, Whatcom, Shakespeare. Saladin. Is that like Saladin? Saladin. I like that. Saladin. What is it not for like Metal Gear or something? Saladin? Antoine. Powerful Antoine. What a powerful Antoine. Thanks for donating also to the match. We know Antoine. We appreciate you, homie. Alright, let's go. So player one, Knuckle Dude. Player two, Rob TV. Knuckle Dude opting for the Mika. And a Rob is bro, they're so pink right now. She's got like a, a, a darker shade of pink, and then the other the other girl also has a pink. It's too much pink for me. I can't take it. Mm, double take. Cole Kent. That was that was the mad down. That's a stop. Jumping combo time. Let me see it. Okay, that was the optimal combo. Very nice. Good job, Rob TV. Man, Knuckle Dude, this man definitely does not play ranked, by the way, because there's no way that Rob TV, no offense intended to you, Rob, because your Karen is actually mad godlike, but there's no way that Rob is ranked 320 and Knuckle Dude is 4,000 or whatever. That's that's not happening. Okay, that was actually a good poke out. He broke up the mix up. And Rob TV gets to stay on his feet for a little while. Nice off the low MK. Damn, we just do those? Choke her up. She got too aggressive. Cheeks. Damn, that was like half half his life. Oh no! The damage! And he comboed the drop kick into a safe jump. That was sick. Airtight mix up. Final round. Oh, Kingdom Hearts. Okay, I see Zaladin. Well, I'm sorry. I played a lot of FF7 remake, and actually that game's fun, but I don't play much Kingdom Hearts. Oh, the drop kick. Damn. This is a really fast-paced match. Nice jump back jab from Rob. Minus two on the shoulder. Pretty much a free jab or throw mix for Knuckle Dude. Mm. Watch your ankles. He tried to shimmy. Instead, he gets grabbed. And now Rob's in the corner. Can he escape? He does. Escape by pressing standing HP. Oh, damn. And got the combo. Damn, that was a godlike confirm Knuckle Dude. That was actually ridiculous, bro. Mm, cheeks again. Twice in one match. How much cheeks is too much cheeks? Fake cross under. Rob TV did not bite. Rob TV, oh, I was going to say he actually had the trigger available, but he did not get to play. My man got straight up grabbed. Mika wins. And Knuckle Dude takes the first game. All right, well, good job, dude.
Game two coming up. I feel like in the footies war, Rob has been pretty clean so far this set. He's got to respect Dew's damage factor. That's the main thing. Dew is definitely all about huge critical art combos like you saw there in that first game. Okay. Did not want to take the plus frames, but Dew pressing buttons anyway. Damn, that was disgusting. Without a cross-up HP, I don't even know. Tried to get the follow combo, but he missed it. And Rob TV gets out of the corner. Side switch, no go. I'm just going to press buttons. Cross up. Damn. All right. Then. Round two. Oh, yeah. The dad power up is real, bro. One, two, three. Stayed in front with the splash. He actually was going for cross up a lot, so I'm not surprised that those are working. That time, I think it was a cross up attempt, but Rob TV checked it. That's a. Ooh, damn. He was ready to punish. He actually got the HP. Damn. Is that going to reach? Yes, it is. Mad damage for this. Cheeks again. Three cheeks in one set. Bro. Was it too much cheeks yet, guys? I don't even know. Knuckle do. Mika win. <laughs> All right. Well, Knuckle do played that second game exceptional. How about that Mika, fellas? Knuckle, it's crazy, too, how Knuckle do. He said that was for Rushdown. <laughs> that was the revenge for Rushdown. <laughs> that was for Rushdown. You beat him 5 1, I beat you 2 0. <laughs> All right, well, props to Rob. He's going to have to try his luck in loser's side. Uh, Bracket-wise, before we start this topic, let's take a look and see how everything evolved. So, uh, winner's top eight is going to be Knuckle Dude versus Zaf. Uh, good job, Dude, once again. NOBC Oh, I forgot to put his tag. NOBC Champion Knuckle Dude. My bad. I've been putting my wallet. I'm going to fix that for you, Knuckle Dude. I promise. Uh, Idom versus Shine. Other side of, of winner's top eight. Uh, loser's bracket, we got Brian F made it out, No Need to Talk made it out, uh, Rob TV must face Ludovic, and Joey must face Neon. So those are the last spots. Thank you, Infinite Decay. Thanks, man. Thanks for updating that sub, bro. I do appreciate it. Thank you for your direct support. Extremely kind of you, my friend. Yeah, Rushdown was avenged by Knuckle Dude. Subscribers-wise, we are sitting at 1105. Thank you, guys. We could always use more. Can we get 1200? We've done it before. So, guys, are we jumping straight to the top eight? Top eight winners? Okay. If they want to play it, then we'll do it. Okay. So, we're, we're, we're trying to get that requested match, the Neon versus Joey. Uh, if we can get it, cool, we'll do it. If not, then it'll be played off stream. But uh, we did ask them if they want to play it on stream. If they'll do it, cool. If not, then we're just going to jump straight into the top eight pretty much. So guys, while we wait and get that part figured out, I want to remind you once again to please, please, I implore you to donate to the Match Arena crowdfund, guys, if you're feeling generous tonight and you want to help out both Henry Sen and Next Level and the... Whoa! What? That's extremely generous. Well, someone donated a lot of money. Did someone give like $300? $500? He said, from the visualizer, he says, thanks very much for the entertainment and made the strongest survive. Well, thank you very much, the visualizer. You are you are a god like my friend. You are actually ridiculous. Are you here in the chat? Whoever you are, the visualizer, are you here right now? Seriously, man, that's extremely generous of you. You actually gave $250 to the prize pool tonight for the top three players, and you also gave $250 out of your own money straight to Henry Center Next Level. That's extremely generous, my friend. Thank you. Thank you, the visualizer. We're going to do winners uh, semifinals. Okay, got you. So we're going to do top eight pretty much, it sounds like, guys. Uh, thank you once again, the, the visualizer. Seriously, man, whoever you are, uh, extremely kind of you, bro. And I'm sure the top three players tonight, uh, although it's looking like it might be the way things are going, it might be an, an IDOMs versus Knuckle Dude type of thing again. Although that would be type, to be honest. Champ versus champ. Too bad that, huh? Oh, because of how it works out. Okay, got you. Well, there might be top five payout in part thanks to you, uh, the visualizer. Uh, because usually once we get past a certain point, we like to do top five payout. So thank you. You contributed so much money that more players are going to get paid probably. Thank you, man. Seriously. The stimulizer, says someone in the chat. 
Seriously, thanks a lot for all the support. There's still free coupon codes, by the way, guys. If you also want to help out and contribute, uh, try out that code. The code tonight is uh, save NLBC 20 And that code will add 50 cents absolutely free. One half of it to support Henry Center Next Level and uh, the other half to support the top players tonight. Top five, probably. Good chance that it'll be today. My name is Spooky, everybody. And if you're enjoying the stream tonight, uh, please give us a follow here on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter at Team Spooky. Check out our YouTube. Uh, it's also at Team Spooky on YouTube. All the info's here for you guys in the chat. And you can find lots of archives from lots of the previous tournaments. Dragon Ball Fighters, uh, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, Street Fighter V. We do tons of this one. Tekken 7. Uh, I also do lots of my casual gameplay as well on the YouTube. So if you're interested in some of that stuff, please check it out. Thanks once again to the visualizer, whoever you are, my friend. Thank you for the huge donation, bro. All right, so it looks like we're going to be doing winner semis in just a moment, guys. I'm going to set up for the next recording.